Big question tonight, what exactly are the health risks of breathing in the smoke from all those wildfires? Newswatch 16's Chris Keating sat down with a respiratory specialist from Geisinger to find out. Smoke from the Canadian wildfires has made its way to northeast and central Pennsylvania. Newswatch 16 crews have gathered these videos from across our viewing area. According to a doctor at Guy Singer, this smoke can be hazardous for your health. There's a lot of uh, pollutants in the air. What we say particulate matter and ozone are very harmful to the lung. The majority of our viewing area's air quality is in a code red according to the Department of Environmental Protection. This means the conditions are unhealthy for everyone. About every time you breathe, you're bringing in the outside world into your lungs, into your body. Uh, if there are pollutants or irritants, they can get into the lungs and really cause significant inflammation. Dr. Jonathan Spar is a pediatric pulmonologist. Both he and the DEP say limiting any outdoor activity can help. If you have the ability to be inside and in filtered air, uh, air conditioned environments, it would be better. People with lung sensitivity are the most at risk. If you have lung disease, any type of exacerbation or, you know, asthma attack, sets you back, so you, re you really want to avoid those situations as much as possible. If you are diagnosed with a lung disease, you are advised to stick to your treatment plan. The medications that you need to control your lung disease can be very, very helpful in this situation in controlling that underlying disease so that this current situation with our air quality doesn't make things worse. Before you go outside, you can find a link to check your area's air quality on WNEP.com. Chris Keating, Newswatch 16.